All right, here goes. Let's finish this bitch. We know what's going on. Now we have to find this fucking doctor asshole and make him pay. But first we have to escape our own mind. Well, Alice has to escape her mind. And I have to escape this game. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, dolls are stuck on a rope. Ugh. He hit me while I was hitting him, okay. Great, these fucking dicks. A lot of enemies here. I'm just gonna skip them all. If the game lets me, they might not, but I'm gonna try. Don't particularly care, like, uh, I feel like fighting these stupid enemies right now. I'm not Tory. He wanted me to do things I didn't want to do. Who wanted you to do things you didn't want to do? What's his name? Bumbly? Bumbly? That's his sister talking, right? Oh god! We made it! Look at this! Am I not the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools? Oblivious I live in a training ground for prostitutes. Huh. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. Yep, the doctor did it. From my pain and you turned me away from the truth. That's why you can't forget the truth. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead. And you should be too. You misbegotten <laughs> abomination. Murderer. You blood-sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. Oh, family, Jesus. My mind. The infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats, wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine. I'll stop that train if it's the last thing I do. Let's kick his ass. You wish it will be. He turned her into a doll. You're lost. And where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there. Huh. Oh, wow, that's it. Complete Wonderland Chapter 5, so now it's just whatever's going to happen now, which I have no idea. <clears throat> She's back? But there's phantom kids walking around the streets, probably all the kids he killed. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh shit. Damn, look at this. There he is. You oozing saw of depravity. Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breathing livestock. The declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. Huh. Proud to display their providence. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Hmm. Still, you're a 
an insane wreck. My work is done. Huh. Whoa. She freed herself. On the train, wow, infernal train. Huh. Awfully gothic. The hatter's on it? Oh shit. I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First <laughs> it was all such freaked with fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train! Never time for tea! Are your brains on holiday? We are ruined! Now we're all mad here. And that's a good excuse for going to hell in the teapot, but <laughs> not for forgetting what your sense is so... Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I like to forget what you did. I've tried, but I can't. You've used and abused but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. Huh. You can't even recognize what's happened. And you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. She has to break all the defenses in her mind in order to act against them. I know I'm guilty of something. But punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime with strong visit on the weak. And you're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Huh. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier. But you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. going here. Nothing to do, but it's co kind of cool signifying the different layers of her psyche as she goes into each one. It's you another car on the train. But you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasting bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no mm. memory of the past or no sense of the future. Hey now. You, forget. you insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. So he got what she wanted in the end. Yeah, he's got the key to her room. He ra probably raped her and killed her. That's my guess. My Lizzie, what is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Told you. Oh, no. And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! Yep, he had his way with Lizzie. That's what he was doing in the house. And he wanted to cover it up, so he set it on fire. Heading to the engine car. Oh god, look at all the ruin underneath. This is crazy looking, man. What a trip. What a trip. 